how to tell if your budgie is a male or female. In this video, we will discuss the various methods you can check to see if you have a boy or a girl budgie, starting from the most reliable method to the least reliable one. Well, number one method no questions asked is having a DNA test done on your bird to determine its gender. Actually, there are parrot kinds that it is the only way to determine and be 100% sure what is your parrot's gender. However, budgies are easier to know what is the sex and no need for DNA test. Second method is kind of obvious and it is reliable. If your budgie is laying eggs, well, guess what gender it is. You see, sometimes they can help you determine their gender by just laying eggs and sit on them, so you can be sure it's a female. Another really really reliable method is genetics, and by that I mean if your budgie has a sex-linked mutation. As the egg laying method, this one is also good to determine if it's a female rather than a male. Because X linked mutations will be physically seen on your female, but your male may be a carrier for that mutation and doesn't show it. To elaborate, if you have one of these mutations, then maybe looking at the parents will help you decide if you got yourself a female. Is your budgie an inno? Opaline? or cinema. The inogene removes all the melanin, which is the substance that creates all the dark colors in the feathers, skin and eyes. An inno blue series budgie would be called albino, as it is the term for white innos, while an inno green series budgie is lodino, and it is yellow. To identify an inno budgie, your budgie should have an orange beak, pink legs, and the eyes are red. And of course, he is either totally white or yellow. Of course, there is cremino, which is the combination of yellow and white, but all you need to know, your budgie has only white and yellow, nothing more, no other colors. The opaline gene makes your budgie's bearing over its head and down between the shoulders greatly reduced. It also removes the markings between the wings, or in other words, the mantle. If you don't know the budgie's body parts, I suggest you watch my budgie topography video first. The opaline gene also replaces the white or yellow color on the wings with blue or green. The cinnamon gene makes it so that throat spots, wing markings, and bearings are warm brown shade, and the feet are pink instead of grey. Ok, so, now we know these mutations. If you got any of these mutations, then you can go and look at the budgie's parents, specifically the mother. Let's say you have an inno budgie. In my case, I have a Lotino. I go and look at the mother. Is she an Inno? If the answer is no, and in this case, you can clearly see that the mother is not an Inno. Which means my budgie is 100% a female. Magic, isn't it? Now, this is another budgie, and he is an Opaline to the same mother. I look at the mother and I can clearly see that the mother is opaline as well. In that case, I cannot determine my budgie's gender depending on this mutation, since the mother has it. And actually, in this case, my opaline budgie is a male. So, to summarize, if you got one of these mutations and your budgie's mother don't show this mutation, then your budgie is 100% a female. 
Otherwise, we need to look at things other than mutation genetics to determine what gender is your budgie. So, okay, you didn't do a DNA test, your budgie didn't start laying eggs, and you either don't know who the parents or they don't have the mutations we have talked about. Now what? Well, it's time to look at this here. This is a very reliable method as well, but the problem with this one, the age will matter as well as the mutation. So you would need to be really knowledgeable to identify your budgie's gender using this method. Some varieties are easier than others. Let's start with the easiest. That said, we are looking at healthy budgies because some diseases may interfere with the seal color. One of the easiest ways to tell if it's a female, it's her brown color seal. You can see it clearly here. Adult females would have a brown seer and it usually means they are in breeding mood. Sometimes the seer may be crusty as well. Adult males, on the other hand, they would have a royal blue color seer. Or it could be a bit lighter as well. Adult females have a pale blue or white seer as well. The seer for females is more noticeable, because you can see her sometimes with pale blue color and suddenly it becomes brown when she's in breeding mood. Some people freak out, what's going on with my bird? Well, don't worry, it's only hormones. Now we have talked about adults. And to know if you have an adult budgie, I highly suggest you watch my video about how to tell their age. As for younger ones, before they mature, they have a different seer color. Usually young males have pink purple color seer and more even color across the seer and around the nostrils. While young females have white or pale blue color seer with some pink or purple around the edges. Usually their seers start to change when they are close to their first mold. And at around 5 to 7 months, become royal blue for males and pale blue or brown for females. That is when they become mature. But like always, there are some exceptions. For example, Recessive pied males, they stay with their purple seer even after they mature. It never becomes royal blue like the others. Here is an example of two brothers. One has a blue seer. While his recessive pied brother didn't change and it will stay like that all of his life. Male albinos or rodinos have a flesh skin color seer, pinkish if you will, because the inner gene removes the blue shade from males. So it's very hard to tell a male from female. However, females can have a brown seer, because the brown shade is not caused by melanin. There is also the fellow and lace wing varieties, their seers act like inos, and it's a bit hard to tell male from female. The final method, and the least reliable, is their behavior. The main reason why this method is very unreliable is because budgies have really so much different and various personalities. But it could be helpful sometimes to give you a hint. But you could always be wrong with determining the sex by looking at their behavior. Males are known for being much noisier than female budgies. They will chirp or sing and the songs can be quite long. While female budgies make sounds too, they usually sound angry and less musical. Males also bob their heads up and down or tap their beaks against their cage or companion. 
Males also regurgitate food. This is actually one of the signs to show females they are healthy and capable of bringing food to her so she could take care of the babies. However, any of these behaviors we just discussed, it could be done by either males or females. So it's not really reliable. But if you had to guess, there is a high chance you could be right. Now go and check on your budgies and let me know in the comments below, do you have a male or a female budgie? For more about budgies, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are watching this video from YouTube and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next video is up. Or like the Facebook page if you are watching this video from Facebook.